Good morning vlog. It is now Sunday. I know, man, I know. I made a promise to upload a vlog every single day and I did do that. I didn't upload a video on Saturday. Weekends are the busiest for me and especially Saturdays are the hardest. Sundays, um, I have a little bit more time to do it. So I will make sure to upload a video tonight, same day vlog. Now I am including my previous days and yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoy that. This will be the beginning of the video. The other clips will come after this and then I'll continue today's vlog at the end of all the other clips. But I didn't record much the other days, but I figured I'd put it here anyway because it's a vlog, man. And you know, it's it's really interesting because someone left me a comment on my last video with my senior developer. And he made a comment, wow, Chris, why do you have to show us that you're driving? Why do you have to show us where you eat or where do you go? Um, you know, what do you do with everything else in your life outside of code? And I'm like, but it's just, it's a vlog. This is a vlog. This isn't just a coding channel. I don't just talk about code, but it's a vlog about my life while I talk about code. It's a vlog about my life. I started this channel when I was a junior developer. Now I'm transitioning to a full stack developer and I'm just documenting my journey as I learn code as my life and improves because of coding and because of this channel too. So deal with it, man. But anyway, that's how I want to start the video. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it. I hope you guys like these drone shots. It is sick. Let's begin with Friday's video. Enjoy it. Let me know, like it. Anyway, let's go. Good morning guys, what is up? It is now Friday. I hope you guys like that drone footage, but it's not over yet. The video has just begun. Let's get in the road. Good morning everyone, it is now Saturday morning. It is early, it is about seven in the morning right now. I actually woke up at six today. Um, the reason I woke up so early is because I'm actually going hiking with a bunch of people. Now, I'm not gonna really video this trip at all. Other than that, man, I'm gonna keep this time with me and my friends personal, I'm not gonna share it at all. But yeah, I'm going hiking, I'm excited. <sighs> time to go hiking in this beautiful day. Alright guys, good morning YouTube. Um, it is now Sunday, I know. I said I was gonna upload a vlog every single day, and I did. I just did not upload a video on Saturday. Today's Sunday, I'm gonna go ahead, go to Porto's, get some food. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and just work on things. So, I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> Well, Alright guys, what is up YouTube? It is now pretty much the end of the day and um, uh, yeah, I don't really have much time to vlog today and um, uh, I know this vlog was just, there was a lot of b-roll and it wasn't too much of me like really doing what I usually do and as you guys know, right, as I said before, it's really hard for me to vlog on the weekends and I think the fact that I even tried my best to upload a vlog on Saturday, Sunday even though I was unable to um, really shows like 
how much I really want to do this and um, and it, it's hard and you know I think it just takes a little adjusting and you know I'm so used to doing a certain thing all the time certain habits and I just have to find a way to be more productive within those days to get a video up to you guys but you know and I will upload Monday to Friday this week every single day that's my goal starting Monday tomorrow <laughs> but anyway uh, I want to go ahead and just end with this and this is what I want to talk about and it's very interesting and people left a few comments on it on my last video when I spoke with my senior developer in my last video my last vlog and I remember I asked them and I, I thought it was harder now because as every, as, as everyone does think it, you know it you know it's probably harder to get in the industry now than before but when I ask my senior developer who is very knowledgeable about this stuff because he keeps up to date with all these things is it harder to get in the industry now than it was five or ten years ago and I think that's something that everyone thinks about and everyone thinks it's harder but when I interviewed him and he answered that and made me really think about it throughout the next couple of days that wow you know what it probably is not harder to get into now than before yes you don't you need a degree sometimes to even get in the field and when you have to teach yourself code it, it is harder it's always harder to try to get an industry when you don't have a degree in it you know when some when there are quite a few people who do have it but to be honest i would say you know i think it's just as easy and i agree with him 100 percent you know in one way or another it could be even easier and the reason i say this is because i mean if you look at all the resources that we have now you honestly have no excuse in saying that i can't learn code it's too hard because there are so many resources out there right now that allow you to learn code to become a programmer so even not just become a programmer if you just want to make things for fun on your own you want to make something really scalable and it, you know it may take a while but you can do it on your own why because we have so many resources number one Google we have Google back then I don't know how long Google's been around but you know I remember like 10 15 years ago it was just yahoo.com it was um what askgs.com uh it's crazy uh but now we have Google and we have Stack Overflow and we have all these forums and because coding and programming has been around for so long now whatever question you have unless it's really heavy like server related where you have to read a lot of things or documents just to get it done now, even that within stuff we we have access to everything not just that like when you think about it you know you can learn at teamtreehouse.com link in the description below plug in <laughs> 25 bucks a month right um yeah not just that if you can't even afford that you can learn code for free at free code camp i'm not sure about code academy i've never used code academy but you can also go to udacity who is a um, uh, which is a website that Google works with, that AT&T works with, that you know all these big time companies work with, and they actually hire people who learn at these. The, what you would usually pay to get a boot camp, you can get for free at Udacity.com. Right? And there are Slack channels, there are Discord channels. If you want, check out my Discord channel in the link in the description below. Join that, and you know there are not very knowledgeable people in code in that channel, and they answer questions. And I think it's a great way, and you interact with me too. And to be honest, just there's just no excuse now. And to get in this industry, you know, before you had to go to school, not gonna lie, there are some books, but now you could just teach yourself code strictly from just YouTube. Uh, it's insane. And like the resources we have, the capabilities we have, the things we can do, how many self taught developers are out there nowadays is amazing. And there is this big time, um, not big time, but this guy has about 80,000 subscribers. He left a comment and he talked about how. Cause you know me, I, I am for self-taught developers, and I, and I do agree. If you're 18 and can get a CS degree, do it, because it will pay itself back. Now that does depend on where you live in the world in the U.S. Get a CS degree, get a job paying you 100, 120 thousand dollars a year, if not 80, 90 thousand dollars a year, you'll pay off that loan very easily. I think self-taught is the way to go. But he said, um, you know, there's a reason that majority of self-taught developers are front-end developers because. They can't learn back in and i honestly want to disagree with that because the reason we do front-end development because we you know as a new self-taught developer or aspiring you don't really understand the difference between back and front end all you know is i see a website and when you look at a website all you know is i want to do that but you don't fully grasp it what happens in the back end but as you get into front end development, as you learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, you get into Angular, or, you know, or whatever, um, React's insane. Um, and then you start realizing, shoot, there's back end development too. And then you get into that. So the reason that a lot of soft self taught developers go into front end development for us is because a lot of times you don't really grasp the world of code yet. But as you get into it, you realize, wow, there's back end development. And that's why there actually are a lot of self taught developers who are full stack. And that is my goal to go full stack development too. So that is my input on this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, man, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I love doing vlogs. I love doing this for you guys and something I enjoy very, very much. And 
Um, I'm, you know, hopefully I can do this for a while, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. This is Krishan. This is a life of a developer, and I'm out. Peace.